Good afternoon, everybody. So, um, well, I made it to bedrock. I mined a little bit. Didn't find any diamonds yet. Only diamonds I got were from other things. Um, we got the farm going. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. That's really not good. Um, the reason this isn't good right now is, um, if there isn't water source blocks next to my sugar cane, it will, well, as you can see, cease to exist. So, um, well, no use crying over it. Um, I'll leave what's here here, and then I'll plant more when it's summertime again, I guess. I should have enough back stock that'll be alright. I was down in the mine for a little while, didn't realize it was winter. Um, so we got the farm going. Which... Oh, crap. Um, I thought I took care of all the cobwebs. Like, that was one of the things I did. So we got the house, we got the farm. I thought I got all the cobwebs, and apparently I still missed a couple somewhere. And, um, well, apparently it's winter, so now it's icy. So the big thing that we gotta worry about is the water in the farms freezing over. That would be a problem. Um, I'm going to just kind of just hope it doesn't, because there's a block on top of it. But, I don't know if that matters. Uh, if it hasn't froze over yet, it probably isn't going to. So, that's that's a good thing. So, okay. I've I made one harvest so far. Got 15 levels from, what did I say? How many was there? 160 wheat. So, 160 wheat plus a couple beetroots gave you 15 levels. So, that's kind of cool. Um, I did a lot of mining. I got some silver. So a little bit of gold. Uh, quite a bit of iron. So we're not using stone tools anymore. I did go exploring and find a bunch of iron tools. So I have, you know, no pickaxes. I had to make my own pickaxes, but that's fine. Um, my sword is just about out. So I'm, And I made a stone one as a backup. So when I got murdered, I could grab it and, you know, have something to fight back with. So, um... Yeah, um, that's pretty much this. That's pretty much all there is to that. I'm going to. I want to. I made a bunch of bandages too. Figured that'd come in handy. I want to figure out a better storage system. That's one thing I want to do. But in this game, there is no. I don't think there is any storage. And there's no good storage in here. Um, Besides the, you know, the regular Minecraft chests. And I think this is just decorative. It might not be decorative, but either way, it's probably not worth it. Well, I can't craft them anyway. That's kind of a bummer. Something cosmetic. Um, so I want to craft a couple of items. I want to try to get some of these out. As you can see, I finally got redstone. And I killed a couple squids, so I got some ink sacks. I made a bunch of bandages. If I didn't already say that, I may have already said that. But I made some bandages. Um, I want to... Take half of the sugar cane I have. And put it back. Just in case. And... I got these band-aids too, but... I might actually have enough heart crystals, maybe, but I, what happened to the ones I just mined? I, maybe I already put them away. One more heart crystal, I can get another, I can get another heart, I think, but I think I need all nine. Um, looks like it's nighttime, so we're gonna craft a couple of items. Um, let's make the, let's make the book, make the atlas, so we can go exploring and not worry as much. We're gonna need iron. We need redstone, uh, feathers, 
a book, book, feathers, ink sack. So that's the compass, and that's the quill and stuff. So that should that should pretty much do that. So I think a compass is like this. Yeah. And then a quill and book is like uh, this. So we put these guys side by side and give us an empty atlas. Which then if we go to the empty atlas and we open it, it shows us in the top right hand corner of the screen our area of where we're at. It doesn't show anything that we built. But if there's a generated structure that it can pick up on, it'll show it. We're going to add a marker right where we're at. And we're going to set this to now this funny looking thing. We're going to call it home. And hit done. Okay, so now we have a little little home symbol there. I guess that's I guess it's supposed to be another portal, maybe? I don't care. It's home now. That's what it is. So <laughs> now we have an atlas. We'll just throw that in our offhand so we can keep it up in the top right hand corner. And I think what else was there that I wanted to make? Uh, the quiver doesn't matter. I can't do that right now. It's winter time, so I don't need a cooling unit. That is something I'm going to have to handle eventually. Um, we need to make another pickaxe. And the TNT arrows, I'm going to need more gunpowder. I think I only have like four. Yeah. So um, we're going to make two pickaxes. So we have them. Um. I'm pretty much retiring stone weapons because now I have enough iron that I can mess around. And we got a good quality and a not so good quality. I can live with that. Um, let's 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 store some of this stuff back in here that'll fit. It looks like that that's all it fits. And I think we're gonna store more in here. Uh, let's see about the reforging station. Now this does one thing, and this does another thing. This is the one I probably want. This I, I don't exactly know what this one does. I didn't use it last playthrough. I made one, but I couldn't figure out what... I think it's like used mostly for the baubles. And we don't have baubles, so we don't need it. Two obsidian and anvil, two stone slabs, and a crafting table. So I'm pretty sure we have a couple obsidian from killing those creeper guys, the reapers, and we have a couple stone from killing um, something that drops stone. Um, I think the, uh, the what, what, what is the guy that drops stone? The Vepolias? The, the guys that drop these, drop the stone too. What am I looking for? Iron? I'm gonna need more iron than that. Uh oh, I'm getting, I'm getting cold. I can't, I don't think I have the stuff to make a... A heater. Yeah, I need these things, and they're not craftable. I gotta go to the nether to get them. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. I can make, um, if I get too cold, I can make wool armor. But we're gonna, we're gonna just see if we can deal with it, because we're in, we're in a swamp. And it, it gets winter time here, but... It shouldn't, like, shouldn't be a big deal. We're going to make two anvils. Um, one for... One for the reforging thingy, and one for the other just having an anvil. So we're going to place one down... Uh, I guess we'll do... That's going to be an issue. Oh, I need level 12 what? I need level 12 something. Good thing I have 23 levels from all the coal I mined. Probably building, I'm going to guess. Let's see. Where are you? There you are. All right. Let's make sure before I go too high in the building and realize it is building. All right. 
it's funny, this thing takes 12 building, but the reforging one that's harder to craft only takes 8 building. And we'll put what's left of that away. We'll place one here. And then we'll go into the crafting table, and I think we have everything. Um... a yeah, crafting table. Alright, and now that can get us better qualities on our weapons and armor. And I don't know if it's going to be, if it would be more worth it to fix this or make a new one. So it takes one, two, four iron to make a new one. And it basically takes four iron to fix this. So, and levels. So I might just make a new one. The uh, quality is 10% sharp uh, attack damage, which is good. But, I mean, there's a chance to get something better. There's a chance to get something worse, but there's a chance to get something better. <laughs> so, we'll probably... Probably give that a try. Uh, let's go ahead and make a new one so we have it on back stock. Let's see what quality we get. We can always reforge it if we have to. Broad. Minus attack speed plus attack damage. That's not too bad, really, but um, a rapier is supposed to be built for speed. So, well, we'll see if we can fix that. I got some iron to burn. Actually, that works. But actually, technically, I don't have any iron to burn. Because I just made two anvils. But, but that is fine. That is A-OK. -okay. I can always mine more. And I think I got some more in here yet. Yeah, a whole whopping five. Okay, so I don't have iron to burn. But from this point on, I don't really need a lot of iron. Like, a ridiculous amount of iron. I got the two two biggest iron builds out of the way. I can make a silver one. I think it does extra damage against undead. Which I think these guys probably count as undead. There's two of them? That's fine. Um, that's actually pretty good because now we can sleep and reheal, which is kind of like the best way to heal in this game is to sleep. So now we got that taken care of. Let's uh, let's store as much of this junk as we can that we're not going to need immediately. And I guess we're going to start filling out the atlas after we open our presents. I saved them for when we were on camera because. I know how much you guys love seeing me get slaughtered by giant trees. Uh, what else can I get rid of? And I hear a, uh, one of those chaos guys. The Argus. Where are you? Okay, well, I don't see them, so we're not going to concern ourselves with it. Uh, we can put the extra pickaxe away. We can put this stone sword away. That's, uh, I don't have room for it. We'll probably end up just trashing that anyway. I was using it for cobwebs, but honestly, there can't be that many more cobwebs. Like, I closed off the mine. That's how sure I was that uh, I got the rest of my, rest of my sugar cane. But I closed off the mine because that's how sure I was that um, there wouldn't be any more. That's a squid. Alright, I was like, what is, what's in that in the water? But I closed off the mine because I was pretty sure there wasn't going to be any more, uh, any more places to really go. 
so. Is this getting laggy or is it just me? Okay, let's uh let's find a relatively safe spot to do this. Um uh, let's go to I guess right here will be alright. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want anything blocking up my blocking up my stairs. Let's go back in this corner. Do you like your present? I do. I oh what the crap. Okay. Well, should have seen that coming. Hopefully we can get back down there and get our stuff. I knew I was hitting that guy, but I don't think I was doing any damage to him. Oh yeah, that's something else. This entire underneath my base is like a complete labyrinth of caves. Like there's caves everywhere. Gotta hurry, hurry. Don't want my stuff to disappear. Guess we'll grab this, and we'll grab the backup stone one. Because if I lose them both, I still have my other iron rapier to go finish the job. So, this looks like a pretty good idea. You know, go figure that there's like only two mobs that can spawn and fit in that area. And I got one of them. Looking at me and go kill that guy. Okay, good enough. Those guys are pretty useless. thing I gotta worry about is I hope this fire doesn't actually damage my items. Why is it not going out? Go out. Go out. Guess we'll have to find a tighter corner. got everything. Uh, we can get rid of this. Keep this guy here. We'll get rid of that. I try not to use this because now that they, they, they nerfed it and that's good, but it kind of like, I still think it's kind of like cheesy to use that. Um, I, I like it. I do, but I think like summoning the minions isn't that when, when they work right, it isn't really nice. So I had all this blocked off, but an ember lobber spawned and turned all my cobblestone into lava. So now there's like big holes everywhere. This is where I mined at. So let's go back one of these tunnels. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How's that feel? You can't fit a 2x2, two two, can you? Yeah. Why so wrong? This is easy to be done. I'm pretty sure I have the worst luck. Ugh. Here's your present. Yeah. 
Why so glum? Tis the season to be jolly. Ah, oh, don't open that one. Yeah. Why so glum? Tis the season to be jolly. <laughs> oh, well that's boring. Ugh, here's your present. Okay, let's see what drops they have playing around here. At least that's something I can cash in on. Well, that's all I really got, I guess. There's some stuff. I can't get through because they're a hitbox. Oh well, I don't care. They'll die eventually. Let's go do the last crafting item I want to do. And, uh... Go do a little exploring for a couple of minutes. We'll just pick a direction that I haven't really been in and go that way. Um, I went to, uh... I've been about three directions, so there's one direction I haven't been yet. I got one more thing I want to build. I want to do a, a AFK fish farm, too. Why, why is this not open sesame? Okay. Uh, let's dump those off. Get rid of whatever we can fit in here. I think I'm going to make a chest just for Lycanite stuff. So like these charges and um, the different whatever body parts I actually keep. Which probably won't be any now because I just don't think they're really worth it. Okay. Water. Food. Guess we can get rid of the shovels. We'll keep these on us in case we need them. Actually, let's take one shovel with us. One that's damaged, just in case we need one. And let's, uh... Let's build our last item that I want to build. I need ten iron. Four chests. That's, that's funny. I have exactly four. And, uh, eight cobblestone. And all of this junk. And let's get, uh, let's get crafting. So I want two hoppers, two chests, and let's get, a. Uh, all this fit too. Okay, that'll give us some more room too. And then let's get building. Uh, I still need to craft one more item. You're probably like, well, you're gonna need coal too. Well, you're right. I have an entire stack in here just for this. Now I'm gonna put this guy right here, I think. So we wanna do. Uh, this year. This year. This here. And then this one here. And then this one here. And then we'll just put... Stack of charcoal in there. Or coal. Not charcoal. And we'll just load this up with all these... I don't know if I can do it with that one. Yeah, I can smelt it down for three diamonds. Okay. So let's uh let's do that. And the reason I can open this chest is because I did the roof with slabs. Um you can open chests with slabs on top. If you guys didn't already know that. That's something that I figured out 
um, in the last playthrough or last uh, in my mod pack. So, you know, after about a year of playing the game, well, I played Minecraft before this, but after about a year of actually playing again, um, I figured out that you can open chests with slabs on top. But now this will cook everything up. And yeah, I'm, there, there's a couple things bad about this. I, I'm losing all the experience from doing this. But, but it, it's more efficient, more time, less time consuming. And I'm losing the experience from needing coal because I won't mine as much coal now that I don't need as much coal. But it, it's all right. I, I'll live. So let's grab our experience book one more time here. And let's... uh. Put all that in there, and let's put ten of our filters away, just just in case. I, I know I, I have charcoal and stuff, but it, it's I feel better that way. Wow, it's really getting to be winter time. That ice is spreading fast. Um, if it seems to get too out of hand, then I'll then I'll make the wool armor. I think. So let's, uh, there's a cactus there, so there's a desert. This way? Really? See, there's the village I've been at. I've been this way, and I've been that way, so going this way wouldn't be bad. I probably should have brought the new, um, the new sword, but it'll be fine. Famous last words. We find him dead in the cave. It'll, it'll be cool. It's fine. There is a desert over here. Isn't that something? See if that makes things a little smoother. Now, even though even though now we have the atlas and we have a map, I still don't want to go too ridiculously far away. Uh, because if I die, then I have to come all the way to go get my stuff back. And that is not something I'm really... Uh, really too into doing. It says this is a desert in my atlas, but it certainly does not look like a desert. And this needs to, like, render. Like, seriously. Mm, I see dinner. Oh, never mind. It's a stone cliff. I thought it was a dinosaur. Can't tell the difference. Um, is that a dragon? Well, that's obviously not a dragon, but is there a dragon right there? I don't think so. I think that's something else. If this game would freaking work right... I'm pretty sure that's not a dragon, but we're gonna we're gonna check it out. We should err on the safe side, but we're gonna we're gonna take a look at this. Yeah, it's not a dragon. It's uh, I don't know what this is. I wonder what mod spawns is it spawns this in. It's nothing too, uh, not that fantastic. Don't you run from me. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, zombie? It seems like the, they somehow made the zombies in this more resistant to the light, too. I don't know if they can do that. It could be like, oh, it, it, it'll it burn in the light, just not as much. I don't, I don't know if that's a thing they can actually do or not. And I don't really know what's going on, but I am 100% sure this biome is not a desert biome. Still a good bit of battle towers. I'm looking for something different. I don't I don't wanna I'm not even humoring the idea of being able to take on a battle tower. One of the things I'm looking well, two of the things I'm looking for is a winter biome with yells um, and a carriage. So I can plant carrots. And neither, neither of those things look very promising. Ooh, this is this is kind of good. I think these are one of the treasure chests you might find bubbles in. I don't think this is the one I already found. It is the one I already found. Great. Go figure. That means I've already been here. If this is that one, it means the village is, like, right off in the distance. I should go and explore and see what trades they have and see if I want to, like, take one of the villagers and confine him somewhere and use him as a trader. Here's the village, I think. So I think we're going to venture off this way for about another two minutes, and I'm going to end the episode. Wait. Yeah, I guess it's that way. We're going to try not to jump in the river, because I'm already, like, cold. So we're going to try not to do that.
see this rendering like this it, it's kind of kind of sucks but the biggest fear is getting within like a chunk of a dragon and then dying because then because i don't see it if that happens then i'm not gonna be able to get my stuff back because I'll, every time i you know run into a dragon it's just gonna kill me again And it's getting dark, so I'm thinking... Thinking... Well, we can't really do anything about it. And as long as we don't get one shot by a skeleton... Our, we have iron armor and a decent iron weapon, so we shouldn't have too much of a problem. Okay, I had an iron weapon. So then I'm going to end the episode here, and kind of just hide out somewhere until um, daybreak, and head back and we'll choose a different direction next time. There's a weird... what is that? That oh, must be the lava pit. The marking. But yeah, I think that's, that's the plan. I'm going to end it here, and then uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.